Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to dynamically submit the page URL through a Webflow form. Let's say you have a form in your footer and it shows up on every page on your site. When you get that form submission, you want to know what page the user was on when they submitted that form. When they submit it, we're going to put a hidden field in with the URL. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and in designer, we'll see that we have the text insert page URL right here. On the live site, we've inserted the page URL to this text field. This is going to submit with the web submission. So if I were to enter my name, enter my email, and then press submit, this is going to submit as a hidden field through the web form. So I'm going to know what page the user was on when they submitted the form. In Designer, we have a native Webflow form on our page. The Webflow form is going to have an HTML embed inside the form wrapper. Inside this embed, we have a hidden input field. Hidden input fields are really powerful because we can submit information through them without visually showing that information to the user. So our input type is set to hidden. We have an ID of insert page URL and the name is page URL. This ID is what we're going to reference in the custom code. The name can be whatever you want. It's what is sent in the form submission like this. I've taken a screenshot of what comes through in the submission and you'll see the name page URL. This is the value that we generate based on the URL they're at. And the entire field as a whole is given the ID of insert page URL. Please note that these two text fields are absolutely not necessary on a live site. We are only adding them into this hack to visually show you that it's working and that we are properly inserting the page URL. Let's break this code down line by line. Before our closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. When the DOM is ready, we're going to get and store the page URL and then store it in a variable called URL. Then we're going to target our insert page URL ID, which is our hidden field. And then we're going to update its value with the URL that we just stored in this variable. And now when the user submits that form in the hidden field will be the URL that the user was on. And this last line of code is just for this hack. This is displaying that URL as text on the page. This is just a visual for the hack. You don't need this code on your site. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.